gosh, because it's so big, I feel We're doing like another pro player breakdown. And for third base, we've actually hit Matt Chapman, Nolan Arenado, and Manny Machado. So today, Jose Ramirez. It just makes sense. Guys, he's so good. And he's been good for a while. And he's he's just one of those guys. He's kind of quiet. So I feel like he's not as like popular as he should be. I'm actually really pumped to talk about the glove because it's not ordinary. There's some weird things about it. And they're good things. And maybe some not so good things. But the first thing we need to do is just break the glove in. Let's do it. If you didn't know, um, it is George season. I'm gonna do some of the classics, all right? I'm gonna hit the glove with a mallet really hard for a little bit. Just hang on. Out of any glove that I've broken in, and I should say out of any like more expensive glove, like 200 bucks-ish and up, this is probably the easiest glove I've ever had to break in. It's not like absolutely perfect all the way done, but like, it's, it's basically game ready. I probably worked on it for three minutes. It was practically ready to go when I got it, but it's super weird because uh, it feels nice. It doesn't feel cheap. This is like buttery smooth. And so even just after a little bit of work, it's just super comfortable on the hand. I didn't mention it yet, but this is Japan Reserve Steer Hide. So it is Steer Hide. Over the years, I've kind of gone back and forth on whether I like Kip or Steer Hide more. The problem is there is such thing as bad Steer Hide and there is such thing as bad Kip. So like every individual glove and every you know manufacturer, it's gonna be different. We need to talk about these Easton's though, cause it's crazy. I'm not 100% sure why, but these Easton gloves like aren't very popular. Just like this glove here, it's not super common, it's not super popular. And it's a pretty solid price, especially for what you're getting, cause this is a high quality glove. And I don't benefit from saying that, you know, I don't get money of any kind. But this, along with some other Easton gloves, are consistently cheap on you know all these baseball websites. Consider like the Easton Professional Series, the Easton Hybrid Series, you guys. That's a really good, like really good glove to get. Oh, by the way, the USA hats are on the website now, and we have like a dad hat version, so go check it out. Now, if you guys didn't know, our man's Jose has like a super common break-in style. He goes two in the pinky, and he flares the glove. And when I say flare, it's like a not hard flare. It's a pretty soft, it's more like the glove is simply just built to be open. With that being said, it was very easy to break it in like that. I will show you with my actual glove in person now. We are going two in the pinky, and then if we roll over, we got just average normal rolled fingers, nothing crazy. And like we said, thumb and pinky are both flared. When it comes to how the glove is closing, it's thumb to ring finger slash pinky, kind of right in the middle. I'm willing to bet a lot of you guys actually break your glove in just like that. Cause like I said, it's super common, super basic, cause it's effective. It's a really solid way to break in your glove. You're probably already like, I do that. I'm better than Jose Ramirez. That, that doesn't make any sense. One thing to note is the heel pad on this glove is like average size to maybe even slightly thin, which if it is thin, that is adding to the easy breaking. Thicker the heel, the harder it is to break it in. What I'm still just so surprised about is how comfortable and how nice the leather feels and just how not popular this glove is. And I think the main problem is that, did you see that? Oh yeah, I was supposed to, I just stopped talking. I just didn't continue. I think that the main problem is that people are too obsessed with like the main brands, like Wilson, Rawlings, yeah, like those are the only ones to buy from. And like, Easton is a main brand in my opinion, but in the baseball glove world, not so much. Baseball bats, heck yeah. Easton kind of just is in this weird middle ground where they are sort of a main company uh, when it comes to baseball gloves, but at the same time, not. The reality is, is anybody can make a really nice glove, so. Don't knock it till you try it. Or don't knock it until I try it because otherwise you have to spend like a bunch of money and if it is bad, then that sucks. It just, is that dinosaur or gator? I don't know. But now we need to go talk about the weird part of this glove. By far, the weirdest part of this glove is that it is ridiculously big. So the glove is 12 inches long, but it feels like 12 and a quarter and honestly almost feels like 12 and a half. Like this thing feels like an outfield glove. With that being said, the fact that it still feels light while being so big is a pretty good plus. Like, the, oh my gosh, do you see that difference? Both of these gloves are 12 inches. That's like a pretty big difference. But there's still a lot of people out there that this would be perfect for. So let me explain. The leather on this is a little softer. So for anybody out there who wants something on the softer side, this is a fantastic option. Now that would apply to a lot of younger guys out there or just people who simply like the softer feel. But if you really like this glove, but the blue and the red turns you off, I have the perfect solution. We're gonna be actually making a video on this in the future. Uh, Justin Turner used to use this glove. It is literally the same exact glove. Not only does this glove look phenomenal, but all the tan on this glove is actually horrowing. 
And then the black is the same leather as our other glove, that like reserve steer. You just can't go wrong with four wings. This is basically slightly thicker and slightly sturdier than that glove right there. I know for sure that justgloves.com does have them. So, I mean, consider. I should probably like throw before these. I think I'm getting like a feel for it finally. By far the biggest takeaway is just how big it is. We're gonna take more ground balls, but one thing I wanna say, this glove is literally perfect for a few people. Um, if you find yourself playing third base and outfield, I couldn't even think of like a better glove. So for outfield, you'll still be able to use it. It's like a slightly small outfield glove and a really big third base glove. Yeah, the leather feels great on it. It's super comfortable, but I have concerns about longevity. That's all, like that's the biggest takeaway. It feels like it will get floppy pretty dang fast. It's just not exactly a good sign that it took me three minutes to break it in. Lost it. That's another one. Like I'm going to use that second hand and not even trying to close the glove, just trying to kind of capture it. But I don't know, it just kind of bounces around just enough to where it's almost like my hands goes half under it, half over it. Anything like that, where it's just the glove itself, left or right, it feels wonderful. Like I said, like an extremely comfortable glove. Go, keep going. <laughs> Somehow hit a chopper that almost hit it. Like even when they're hit this hard, I don't think it'll, it's not gonna like permanently break something. It's yeah, it's not like it'll like not function. <laughs> Just back to back. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. If I had to guess, I would say the first like year that you use this glove, you'll absolutely love it, but slowly it's gonna become like a little bit too loose for your liking. Um, that is, if you like a stiffer glove. For those of you out there who like that loose glove, a little bit of a floppier feel, something kind of like Gold Glove Elite leather, uh, when it comes to like Rawlings, I think you genuinely will like love this glove. One thing I didn't mention is actually that Jose Ramirez is now using a Wilson and that Wilson is like super sick. I, I think it's awesome. I mean, it doesn't change the fact that this is a really nice glove. And I think for a lot of people, it's maybe not the best thing, but for the select few who are kind of that utility player, this is a pretty good option. No catch. I'm gonna take a few traditional because it feels wonderful too in the pinky, but I'm just wondering if uh, it'll help make the glove feel just slightly smaller if I'm going traditional. Okay, for sure with traditional, I can feel uh, that palm more. You can keep going. Like I can feel, it's easier just to feel against the actual palm of my glove. When I'm talking like this, transfers everything, it feels slightly smoother. So if you are gonna get it, consider going traditional. Two in the pinky is so much more comfortable. Yeah, confidence level is like out of the roof when I do go two in the pinky because it's a very comfortable glove already. But I think I lose more balls when I go two in the pinky. A couple that will hit the palm and I'm going to pinch it against the palm but when it hits palm, it kind of shoots up a little bit and then it's just, where's the ball? I like this glove a lot. One more kick for good measure. I guess, yeah, I guess you can hit me one more. I was just gonna kick the glove. Closing comments, Jose Ramirez is underrated, um, probably because of who he plays for and he's just a quiet person from what we can see at least. If you wanna watch a review on another third baseman, we did Matt Chapman a little while back. I love the video, uh, I think it's great, it's fun and that's one of my favorite gloves I own, so. Thank you